Hi guys, currently we have make chat application using PHP WebSocket and save chat data in MySQL database using PHP and under this part tutorial series part, we will make login page under this chat application. In previous part, first we have learned how to make register form and save user data in MySQL table using PHP object oriented programming and then after we have we have learned how to send email verification email to register user email and then after we have learned how to verify user email address. Now we want to make login page for this chat application so first we have open index.php file under which we will make login form. So here for make login form here we have write form tag with method is equal to post and id is equal to login form. Under this form, for enter user email address detail, here we have write input type is equal to email, name is equal to user email, id is equal to user email. And here for validate user email address data, here we have write parsley data parsley type attribute is equal to email, and here we have also write required attribute also, so this validation will check, this field value is required, and entered value must be an valid email. Same way for enter password details, here we have write input type is equal to password. Name and ID attribute is equal to user password, and here for this field value is required, so here we have write required attribute, under this field. Now for submit form data, here we have write input type is equal to submit, name and ID is equal to login, and value is equal to login, so when user click on this login button, User login details will be sent to PHP script for validate user authentication. Next for initialize parsley form validation library on this login form. So here in jQuery code part, we have write dollar with form ID login form with parsley method. This method will initialize parsley form validation library under this login form input field. After this, we have go to PHP code part, and here we have write dollar error variable is equal to blank value, under this variable, we will store error message. Next, here we want to check user is already login or not, if user is login into this chat system, and try to access this login page, then page must be redirect to chatroom.php page. For this here, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write is set function, and under this, we have write dollar session user data variable, if this variable value is set, that means user is already login into system, and it will execute if block of code. And under this block, we have write header function, and under this function, we have write location double colon chat root dot php so it will redirect to chatroom.php file. Now again we have write, if statement, and under condition, we have write is set function, with dollar post login variable, if this variable value is set, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write require one statement, with database folder slash chat user dot php class by using this statement we can use this chat user class method and under this file after this we have write dollar user object variable is equal to new chat user class so here we have create object of this chat user class now we want to set the value of user email text box so here we have write dollar user object with set user email method 
and under this, we have write dollar post user email variable. Next, we want to get the user data based on the value of user email text box. So here we have write dollar user data variable is equal to dollar user object with get user data by email method. This method we have already make at the time of user registration video and this method will return user data based on user email text box. After this, we want to check this dollar user data variable has some data or not. So for this, here we have write if statement and under condition, we have write is array method. And under this, we have write dollar user data variable. This method will check this variable has data in array format or not. After this, we have write and operator and write count function and under this, we have write dollar user data variable. So this count function will return number of element in array and if it is greater than zero, then it will execute if block, otherwise, it will execute else block. Suppose, it will execute else block of code, and here we have write dollar error variable is equal to text message like drawing email address. But suppose above condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and here we have again write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar user data user status variable value is equal to enable. Suppose this condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write dollar error variable is equal to message like, please verify you email address, so this error message will be display on web page. But suppose user status variable value is equal to enable, then it will execute if block of code, and here this block, we have again write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar user data user password variable value is equal to dollar post user password variable value. Suppose this condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write dollar error variable is equal to text message like drawing password, so this error message will display on web page. But suppose above condition true and user enter write password, then it will execute if block of code, and under this block, first we need to set the value of login user id. So here we have write, dollar user object with set user id method, and under this, we have write dollar user data user id variable value, this method will set login user id value. Same way, we want to set login status value. So for this, here we have write dollar user object with set user login status method. And under this, we have write login. So it will set login text to user login status variable value. Now we want to change user login status column value. So for this, we have go to chat user.php class. And here we have make update user login data method. Under this method, we have write dollar query variable is equal to update chat user table, set user login status is equal to double colon user login status, where user ID is equal to double colon user ID. This update query will change value of user login status column. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar this with connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable this method will make query for execution next we have write dollar statement variable is equal to bind param method with two argument in first argument we have write double colon user login status and in second argument, we have write dollar this user login status variable. 
After this, we have again write dollar statement variable, with bind param method, with two argument, in first argument, we have write double colon user id, and in second argument, we have write dollar this user id variable. Now we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. This method will execute above query. If it execute query successfully, then it will return true, otherwise it will return false. Now we have go to index.php file, and here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar user object with update user login data method. If user login status updated successfully, then it will execute if block of code. And under this condition, we have create dollar session user data variable, and here we have one more index. And here we have write dollar user data user id variable value, so it will store unique session data from each user. Under this variable, we have store data in array format, so in first key, we have write id, and in value we have write dollar user data user id variable value. In second key, we have write name, and in value, we have write dollar user data user name variable value. And in last key, we have write profile, and in value, we have write dollar user data user profile variable value. Here we have store user profile image under this profile key value. So here we have stored this data in dollar session variable which we will use for user authentication at chat room page and other chat application page. Now we want to redirect web page to chat root.php page where we will make chat room for all user can chat with each other. So for this, here we have write header function with location set to chat room.php file. So this function will redirect page to chat root.php file. Now we want to display error variable value on web page. So here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar error variable value is not equal to blank. If this condition true then it will execute if block of code. And under this block we have write echo statement with division tag with bootstrap alert and alert danger class and between this we have write dollar error variable, so it will display validation error. So here our code is ready. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, here in browser, we have enter our chat application base URL. Then it has been display login page on web page. First we want to check form validation is working or not. So we have directly click on login button. So here on web page we can see validation error on web page. Now here, we can see user registration data. Now we have removed this user data. And again we will do registration process again. So here we have go to registration page. And here we have fill user registration data. And in password fill we have enter password. After filling all data, now we have click on register button. After click on register button here we can see, validation email has been sent to our register email address. But here we have go to login page, and try to login with email address and password. Now we have click on login button, after click on login button, here we can see message like please verify your email address. So we have go to email inbox 
and here we can see email verification email and here we have click on email verification link after click on link here we can see that your email has been verified successfully and now you can log in into system so here we have fill email address details and in password field we have enter password 123 and click on login button after click on login button here on web page we can see that drawing password error we can see it that means without entering right password user cannot login into system so now we have entered right email address in email address field and in password field we have enter password and click on login button after click on login button here page has redirect to chat room page and user has login into system so this way user can login into this chat application so friends in this video part we have learned how to make login page for this websocket chat application using object oriented php programming and in next part we will learn how to log out from system and how to change status of user login by using php object oriented programming so here we have stopped this video and we will be meet in next video and lastly thank you for watching this video